Party's ruling council met in London last weekend, the Welsh representative Jeff Drake was one of five members who tried to fight off the lethal injection administered by the party's leader, David Owen. But the doctor had his way. The former joint leader of the alliance in Wales, Gwynoro Jones, was one of the earliest public critics of Dr Owen's bedside manner. Jeff Drake refused to be interviewed together with Mr Jones, so we went to them separately for their views of Dr Owen and the SDP's last stand. He's done the classic now, you see. Uh, the SDP members yet haven't voted as to whether they should disband. He has decided, he called a national committee meeting, there's been a vote of 17 to 5, well, there's about six, seven thousand members left in the remnants of the Owenite SDP, but uh, they haven't been asked what they want. That's typical of the man. I do think that the decision taken at the weekend was premature. I think that in itself was an overreaction to the brutal result. And I also regret that the decision was taken in the way that it was by the National Committee. Exaggerated, though in this case there doesn't seem much prospect of a return to life which raises the question of where SDP supporters will now place their votes. On so many aspects of policy, there has never been any difference between us. And I hope that those people will come our way, because we do need their support and help. Very few members would support the government. And I think very few would support the Liberal Democrats. So you think they'll vote Labour? I think that if there is a net gainer out of the situation, if the SDP can't continue as an independent force. I think the net gainer would be Labour, yes. So what went wrong with the dream of a party which promised to break the mould? The trouble was, it seems, the voters preferred to keep it intact. Perhaps so the British public is not yet ready for such sophisticated politics. It's a shame because it is that level of sophistication which makes politics a very different uh, kind of uh, uh, activity in every other country in Europe. Isn't that rather a patronising view of the electorate? Well, I'm, you've asked me an honest question, and I'm giving you an honest answer. The centre ground is now beginning to clear. It's been muddied, it's been confused. The results of the merger and the after-effects of what happened caused problems without any question. The people themselves, the voters, got confused by the antics of certain people in that whole, uh, in that whole fiasco. But now the ground is clear, and it's getting clearer. Funerals are sad occasions, of course, even premature ones, as Jeff Drake is prepared to admit. Of course, it's very sad. It's sad for me. It's sad for all the uh, thousands of members of the SDP who have actually worked wonders and performed miracles in the last uh, two years in particular. But it's also a sad day for British politics. Of course I'm sad, because it could have been so much different. It could have been so much better. But there we are. It's been put back a year or two or three, but I'm quite sure that the Liberal Democrats are certainly not going to go away, and the result will be... Certainly it's a fella at cr uh, cricket, or is it tennis now? It's um, cricket, no. On so many aspects of policy, there has never been any difference between us, and I hope that those people